I love how beech trees have their babies. You can see it's very close, right in, tucked under its trunk. This is a baby beech tree. Yeah. <laughs> Inca thinks I found a vole or a mouse or something. No, just a baby beech tree. Oh, are you gonna? <laughs> you're gonna dig up the baby beech tree? Is that what you're gonna do? That's not very nice. Well, I mean, I actually probably will have to dig up the beech tree, baby beech tree, to put it somewhere else. Oh, and look who's come to look at the baby beech tree as well. Everybody's coming to look at the baby beech tree. Bear wonders what the baby beech tree is all about as well. <laughs> so I'll come back and, um, because this baby beech tree won't have a chance being right there. It's too sheltered and shaded by its parent tree. So I'll come back and pot it up to give it a chance. A baby beach. National Tree Day here in Ireland. I've dug up this baby beech tree and you have to, when you dig them up, you have to make sure you get the complete or the, as much of the tap root as possible. So you can see I did. And I'm gonna plant it in here. This is an old septic tank for a house. No, sorry, not a septic tank, water tank for a house that we timbered the edges to. And these are baby walnut trees that I planted in here as seeds. Of them that's coming to help again. And here's a chestnut tree. And there's another baby beech tree. Oh, you fell in. You very oh you <laughs> I've met you're very awkward giddy. Very. Now I'm gonna plant this and you're not to dig it up, okay? Yes, this is a baby beech tree. And um, hopefully it will grow a lot more. And I might plant it later this year out in um, a place for baby trees, or I might give it a year to grow a bit more before I plant it. So, I'll admit, you can help me plant it. You can help me plant this tree. Whoops, my tool just fell. Okay, so I'll just dig down. Because this tank is very deep. So, there. Now, place that sideways. Put that in. Give it some soil. Pull it up a little. Now, there. I've rescued that baby tree was not going to survive being right underneath its parent tree because it was right in the root area of the trunk. So it might have found its way down a little bit further, but not very far. So it now will have a chance. I think that's right, yeah. It will now have a chance to mature into a true huge beech tree like its parent. That's its parent tree is that one right there. The parent tree with another beech tree, another beech tree. There's a chestnut tree, horse chestnut tree, horse chestnut tree. Here's an ash tree. So here we have walnut trees. These are from seeds last year. These are from walnuts that I planted last year. And this is a beech, another beech seedling that I found. So this beech seedling is gonna do really, really well, I hope. And as I hope this horse chestnut will as well. Other than that, he's hugging and purring for all these trees. Hopefully they will grow into huge giants that hit the next cats will be able to climb as they grow. Isn't that right, beautiful kitty? So there we go. You saw where it came from, and there it is planted now, with oven mitt purring all over it.
You're such a cat. Such a purr.